I'm gonna tell you in this episode of CJ Raw about three things, notice my European three, three things that are off the beaten path but still very cool. Stick around. You can have it. World famous photographer Chase Jarvis. First things first, we're gonna to go to the number one crowdfunded item of all time. In fact, they've raised something like $30 million. It's called Glowforge. It's the most badass 3D printer I have ever seen. Let's go check it out. This is Dan, Dan Shapiro. Tell the people at home who you are and what you do. Hey, I'm Dan Shapiro. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Glowforge. You've heard of Glowforge because Glowforge is the number one, the biggest of all time crowdfunded product project. How much you raise? Uh, 27.9 million in 30 days. <laughs> $27 million on which platform? On uh, we did it on our own website, glowforge.com. Nice. So you go in and pledge and get the goods. Wow. So they did their very own platform, crowdfunded $27 million, and let's talk about what they built. So come with me. First of all, I'll just say it in my own human terms, it is a 3D laser printer. So that's one of the things that got my mind when I first saw this, uh, this crowdfunding project hit the web. I was like, wait a minute, this is the first one that I've seen that's not super esoteric. You have a very, very simple web interface and like you can literally handwrite something and print it onto a uh, leather bag or yeah. uh, engraver. Do you feel like that's the big differentiator for you guys? You know, that's what makes this not just a little tool that sits in the corner, but something that anybody can use all day long. Yeah. I want to build a tool that was that versatile and that accessible at the same time. So it starts out with stuff as simple as paper. And okay. you have this beautiful detail, it's brilliant acrylic and wood hybrids, or even something like engrave it. So for metals and stone and glass, you can engrave the surface. You can see we, we used an old MacBook for our first try because we weren't sure if it would work, but it worked. And, uh, Here's a question. If I bring my MacBook Air in You got here, it. Could you... We'll do it. You're on. Custom MacBook, baby. Check and then, that. Okay. And then you go all the way to the keys. No way. So those are <laughs> solid wood veneer keycaps. We're going to walk through with you folks on camera right now how to just, how simple this is. He grabbed this off the internet and you pull it into Illustrator. And all I'm gonna do here is say print to Glowforge. And when I do that, it's actually gonna send it up to our service, which runs in Google's cloud. Okay. And you can see there it is. So let's go over and put so some material in. So you just hit in. send on the software. It went up to the cloud and came back down to your software. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in. Great. And the camera's gonna grab that image. And it's really complicated. I'm gonna hit the print button. Boop. You wanna hit the magic button? I do. All right. This is, this is the cool part, ready? Boom. That's it. That's how you make this thing work. You press the button. Is there a party that wants to make it red? <laughs> uh, it actually will be a colored button by the time we're done, okay, but it's going to be lights underneath, so it'll tell you when it's ready to go. Come zoom in on this thing. So this is, you, you're seeing it laser etching this scrap piece of walnut laminate. Is it laminate? Uh, no, it's solid? actually solid piece solid? of tree. Got it. By the way, you gave me this about five minutes before you got here, right? Yes. We did, we did no trial runs. This is the first time yeah, we've like, ever seen this. Yeah. Well, we'll hope to do your very first uh, first class that you guys have on the Glowforge over Absolutely. at Creative Live. Huge thanks for having us again. So it's 2,400 bucks all in for this thing that, again, you can, if, I wish you could just stand next to it and smell this thing and see the laser. We'll do the best that we can, but totally revolutionary tool. Thanks for inviting us into your, uh, your joint down here in South Seattle. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chase. Right on. And now back to you folks. All right, item number two for cool tech gadgets. This is for you photo files, and specifically for you iPhone photo files. This here is called the DXO. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the specs for a second here. So 1.8 aperture, 20 megapixel still. It also has a one inch sensor in here, which is a huge sensor. And that's part of the way that you also get these 20 megapixels. Now you can put 20 megapixels in a small sensor, but this beautiful combination of a decent amount of megapixels with the right size sensor makes this super sexy. Very low noise for a high quality photograph. So I think it shoots in DNG, and it also has this weird format called Super Raw, which in way, way low, low light, 
Apparently they have some really sexy algorithms that'll allow you to do that with very, very high ISO. One point of note is that you can have that, this does have a um, micro SD card in it, so you can tell it just to record those 20 megapixel stills or your video directly to the card here and not your iPhone, so you don't take up iPhone, or you can have it uh, record to both. It has a battery that is, I'd give the battery a B, but it's a, not something you can replace. It's a chargeable like USB, beep, charge, 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 charge. This thing is spectacular for manual control. You can literally choose the aperture, shutter speeds, ISO and stuff like that. So if you're sort of that pro-minded photographer and you wanna get the most out of your iPhone, this is a super kick-ass little thingy here. So one of my favorite things about this is that it's super badass for low light. In fact, there's Celeste right there and I just asked her if I could take her picture and she said yes. Thank you for letting me hijack you. Let's go find a place where there's not very much light. One, two, three. It's dark as night in here, in case you can't tell. I mean, that's probably you're cranked all the way open, but thank you very much. I took a very nice picture of you. That's Celeste, low light that? photograph. It should be noted that this thing also shoots good video in low light. Uh, it shoots at 1080, 1080 30 or uh, 720, 120 for a little bit of slow motion. I will say, I think the photography part of this camera is better than the video but you get both with one deal. This thing comes in at $599, which right now you're saying, hmm, that's kind of expensive, but it really does, if you're serious about this kind of photography, it takes this device to the next level. So that little piece of technology was for you photo geeks. This last piece of technology is for your audio files. How about we go outside where it's a little bit more noisy? All right, now we're outside. It's noisy, it's cold, that's why I'm a little bit bundled up. And the third product, this is for you audio files, it's called the, there you go. Smart lab. Uh, I'm gonna plug this thing into my phone. I'm gonna go right there, plug this into my phone. And right now what we're listening to is my voice outside with all these extra noise, got a little wind jobber on there. This is just with the Smart Lav Plus. Here's what it sounds like just with my iPhone. All right, like that's not nearly as good, right? Especially when I move my phone around. So there you go for your audio files. This thing just chirps in at 79 bucks, which was one of the best $79 uh, investments I made for um, recording even sort of little selfie um, vlog type things on my phone. You get the picture, 79 bucks, great deal. All right, quick recap on those three products. One, Glowforge, super badass 3D printer, changing the game over there. Two, GX01, that camera that's a camera in and of itself and attaches to your iPhone. And then thing three, the Rode SmartLav Plus, which makes recording into your iPhone really easy. Right, before you go, this episode of CJ Raw is paired with a great class of Creative Live called iPhone 6 Photography from my friend, Julia Kellehart. She does a great job of breaking down how you can get kick-ass photos with your iPhone 6, whether you're a pro or not, and have them come out looking like a pro. So that's a wrap for this episode. I will see you again next week. You can have it if you want it. It's gratis, it's for free. There ain't no strings attached, no, there ain't no catch. Take my love, take my love, take me. You can have it if you want it.